subscribers I'm gonna be showing you all my reptile collection this is Leonard he is my crusted gecko my um, current big big boy he's very chunky and he is a Corlophus ciliatus or commonly known as the crested gecko and you can actually see that he doesn't have a tail when crested geckos lose their tail they actually don't grow it back so unfortunately his previous owner um, accidentally made him lose his tail and I got him from a someone in college who couldn't take care of him anymore so he did the responsible thing and surrendered him to me. Um, he is a Dalmatian and I'm pretty sure he also has some Harlequin in him based on the pattern on his back. And like all crusted geckos he loves to eat a mixture of fruit paste and insects and he has a very large terrarium to my left which he likes just to climb around him, and also, like all crusty geckos, I spray him twice a day to make sure that he uh, retains the correct humidity. Crusty geckos are an amazing species to start out with, as long as you get a well-started adult rather than a juvenile, as I've learned in the past, and also you're willing to feed them every other day, or every day, for that matter, and you're willing to spray their tank twice a day, which can be a lot of work. But still, they are fantastic animals, and they have amazing personalities. This is Raptor, my juvenile crested gecko, as I was just saying. These guys are certainly not as um, handleable as the adults because he is not tamed down. I rarely ever take him out just because he does not like to be handled. So I'm just going to give you guys a fair warning in case he tries to bolt. And there he goes. Oh. And there we go. This okay. is Raptor. He is my other coral off ciliatus. He is actually the same age as Leonard. However, he does not eat as much. I feed them both the same amount um, at like the same intervals, but still he just doesn't really like to eat too much. Just like that, he did the big jump. He actually still has his tail just because I rarely ever hold him. And they actually have a prehensile tail, you can see that. And right now Raptor is fired down so he's not showing his full colors. And also, I talked to a crested gecko breeder who said that he is a flame crested gecko, which is a partial pinstripe. You can see there's a stripe down his back. And when he's fully fired up, I'll include some pictures. It's bright red, orange crests. I'm not gonna touch them like I did to Leonard because he is not hand tame. And yeah, this is, this is Raptor. I named him, obviously, after different species of Dromaeosaurus, as he is quite the Quite the clever, not girl, but clever dude. Um, but yeah, he is an absolutely gorgeous animal. And he tolerates some handling, but he really doesn't like it too much. And like all geckos, they smell with their tongue, as you can see him tongue flicking. Now I'm going to put him back before something bad happens. And we're going to move on to our next animal, which is probably the most handleable of them all. Alright, buddy. last stop in my reptile room tour. This is Rexette. You guys all know and love her. She's nothing new on the channel, but I might as well talk about her since I'm talking about the other guys. Rexette is a Eubulpharus macularis, which is the scientific name of the common leopard gecko, also known as the spotted fat-tailed gecko. 
And unlike other geckos, these guys don't have the little toe pads that the crested geckos do, and they have a very fat tail, which they store fat in. It's not prehensile, as you see it's not wrapping around my finger. And also they have eyelids, which is unlike many other species. Let's see if I just do that. Her eye closed. And like the other two, she also smells with her tongue. That's why she's tongue flicking. See, just like that. She smells the other geckos. And she has claws, just like the other two. However, her fingers are very thin. And she has a almost warty skin, which is what she uses in the wild to retain moisture. I've had her for seven years now. Got her when I was five and I have been working with her ever since. She's an educational animal. She's taught many people. She is a little bit overweight. That's because I feed her a little too frequently. She hasn't eaten in about a week now though, so um, she's starting to lose weight. Leopard geckos, for the most part, usually sometimes go uh, up to two weeks without food during the breeding season. But yeah, she is a super hypo, which means she is lacking a lot of the black pigment. Most of them have spots all down their body, but super hypos only have them on their tail. Also, um, she lost her tail too, but actually, these guys grow back their tail, unlike the crested geckos. So yeah, there's a little bit about her. She probably is my favorite out of my collection. I've been working with her the longest, and she holds a special little gecko size place in my heart. Yeah. She is absolutely amazing, and you guys will continue to see more of her on the channel. Alright everybody, thanks for watching all of my reptiles, unfortunately, I don't have too many at the moment, but that will certainly rack up. Isn't that right, Leonard? Yeah, that's right. I'm hoping to get some more species of Eublepharus, maybe a couple more crested geckos, and whatever anybody's really kind of surrendering and I need to take. But um, stay up to date with the channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're down there. Might as well give it a like. And hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video, you know? much like these will do. And I'll probably do some setup videos of my lizards. And don't uh, worry because there's gonna be much more dinosaur figure content. In fact, I just ordered two dinosaur figures from D Jenkins last night and they will be getting here probably tomorrow. So I need to get this video up <laughs> very quickly. And I'm super excited for those. But yeah, you know, just go ahead and leave a comment. If you guys keep any reptiles, tell me what you guys have because I'm always, Happy to talk to fellow reptile keepers and also non-reptile keepers. If you're thinking about getting a reptile, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And you know what? Just leave a comment anyway. Say which one was your favorite out of the three that uh, I showed you guys today. And without further ado, Cole Sore, Stick and Sonai, signing off. Take yeah. two. Go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and don't get me... Don't give me- <laughs>